Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about some of arithmetic series and this given question. And here is our question. What is the sum of the 11th to 20th terms inclusive? That means those are included of this arithmetic progression 7, 12, 17, 22, and goes on and on. That means over here, 11th term means, V means, we have a ace of 11. And 20th term means ace of 20. Let's understand the question first. We have a, this uh, uh, arithmetic progression, ace of 1, ace of 2, ace of 3, and goes on and on. And we want to find the sum of this part between ace of 11 and ace of 20. We want to find the sum s between 11th terms to 20th term, sum of 11. So this is the way we're going to handle this one over here. How about first if we can find the sum of these first 10 terms, that means s of 10 is going to be how much first we find this one and then the next step is if we find the sum of the first term between first and the 20th term that means if we find the s of 20th term also and then if we once we found out these two then we can subtract s of 20 minus s of 10. so let's go ahead and get started and i'll show you how we will be doing this one so in the very first step we are going to find the sum of the first 10 terms that means s of 10 equals to how much so the very first thing is s of 10 we need to find s of 10 we need to find and we know that 10 means that n equal to 10 terms and here we can see our very first term is of 1 equal to 7 and also we can see that our common difference how much we can add to get this one is going to be of course we're going to add 5 positive 5 to get another one that means our d is going to be positive 5 and here is the formula that we'll be using to find the first 10 terms sum of the arithmetic series so s of n means that means we are going to find s of 10 equals to in our case n is 10 divided by 2 times 2 times a1 means 2 times in our case a1 is 7 plus n in our case is 10 minus 1 times d is positive 5 so let's simplify inside this bracket so 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 2 times 7 is 14 plus this is 9 times 5 let's simplify furthermore we're going to get 5 times 14 plus 45 let's add this inside bracket 5 times that's going to be 59 and that is going to give us 250 295 rather 295 so s of 10 turns out to be 295 and in our step 2 over here we are going to find the sum of the first 20 terms that means s of 20 equals to how much so s of 20 means that means n is equal to 20 and we already know that the first term is 7 and the common difference d is 5 and now we're going to be using this sum of arithmetic 
series formula so we will be using this one over here and let me go ahead and since we want to find s of 20 the first 20 term s of 20 is going to be equal to in our case n is 20 divided by 2 times 2 a sub 1 in our case 2 and a sub 1 is 7 plus n in our case is 20 minus 1 times d is 5 let's simplify 20 divided by 2 is 10 times 14 plus this 20 take away 1 is 19 times 5 let's simplify furthermore so that's going to be a 10 times 14 plus 19 times 5 is going to be uh, 95 all right so so 10 times 14 plus 95 is gonna be 109 so that means s of 20 turns out to be 1090 so that means our this s of 20 turns out to be 1090 and thus in our step number three we are going to find the sum of the terms between 11th terms to 20th terms inclusive that means 11th and 20th term are included is given by s of 20 the sum of the 20 terms minus s of 10 as you can see this thing so we already figured out s of 20 and s of 10 in our previous steps let's find out so that is going to be s of 20 we know that is a 1090 from step 2 minus step 1 gave us s of 10 which is 295 let's subtract this one so that is going to give us 795 this is the sum of this required terms so that's the sum of the 11th to 20th terms inclusive is 795 and that is our answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye